Hello, welcome back to the channel. GP here. Um, we're not doing reviews no more. This is going to be an overview, and it's going to be an overview of uh, Mighty Marvel Masterworks Captain Marvel. Um, this these come out quite regularly. It's all silvage. Um, they are digest size, so just for comparison to a normal trade, they are quite smaller. So bear that in mind if you got dodgy eyes. But, um, <clears throat> so Captain Marvel, it's 200 pages. Um, like I said, Silver Age. And there's a spine. And this is the coming of Captain Marvel. Um, there's all your blurb on the bottom, IM, IMBD. Um, so this is actually $16 US, um, 14 pound. In the UK, I've got this off Amazon, so I've got a little bit of discount, so I pay, end up paying about £12. They are glue binding, so yeah, normally is with um, soft covers. I do believe you can get hardcover versions of these, so just bear that in mind, something to keep a look out for. And then we'll open it up. Um, obviously, Captain Marvel by Roy Thomas. And Arnold Drake, with Stanley, a bit of Stanley, not too much. Uh, you got uh, Jane Colin and Don Heck doing the pencils, various inkers, letters, um, edited by Stanley. Um, the cover is actually by Michael Cho. Let's bear that in mind. And these are contents. So you get Marvel Superheroes number 12 it's from uh, 1967. And then Marvel Superheroes 13, March. That was a big gap. And then you get Captain Marvel, one to seven, and then just a bit of a uh, not brand Eck, number nine. Uh, where stalks the center? Re. <laughs> Actually enjoyed uh, not brand Eck. It was um, a bit of a throwback to the stuff I used to read when I was a kid. Uh, we've got a book over here called the Beano Book, and some of the where the drawers, it's a bit like not brand Eck. But yeah, so yeah, we get the coming of Captain Marvel, uh, Marvel Super Heroes number twelve. Um, a bit about the story. Uh, Cap Marvel is sent to Earth for the rest of his team, uh, Yon Bog, and some others. They obviously it's still age. They do like to get that love triangle in, in there. So we've got um, the medic owner. This is a uh, Captain Marvel's girlfriend. Uh, but of course, Jon Vogt here wants it wants it for himself, so he'll do anything to screw Captain Marvel over. I keep saying Captain Marvel. I know it's Captain Marvel, but I just find it easy saying that. Um, yeah. So the first story is him landing on Earth. He takes up the identity of Walter Lawson, um, and we'll just. Go through the, this one, He's, this is him getting the grips with his powers on Earth. And of course, um, one of the three robots wakes up the sentry. Unstoppable force, but of course, Captain Marvel puts him down. It was actually a good issue. Uh, but yeah, Captain Marvel's there on Earth to study how far the humans, Earth people, have come to, uh, on their progress. Of making weapons, missiles. So he's there's a missile expert there. That's what Doctor Walter Lawson is, and whose identity is assumed. So most of the stories take place on this army base. Um, I think this was two issues. The century one it was pretty good. And uh, of course, you get a couple of Danvers, Danvers first appearance. Uh, Super Scroll appears in this on the Ronan the Accuser. There's a lot of back and forth um, between that. Yeah, uh, not only do you get the Super Scroll, you also get... Where is it at? Name, yeah, Neymar's in here somewhere. Oh yeah, there he is. Uh, also get a brilliant story from Neymar. Uh, one of my favourites is this one. The Mark of the Metazoid. Really enjoyed this. Uh, what it is is the Metazoid 
is human. Uh, he betrayed basically Russia, so he ended up turning turn him into this. There he is uh, to redeem him, redeem himself, but he doesn't want to be like this. Uh, it's such written so good. Uh, but yeah, and then we get all the way. Or Die Town Die. That was really good. So obviously Captain Marvel is starting to feel for the humans. He's trying to protect them. And he's given this choice. Either kill a town or be branded a traitor. And the way he does it is really good. No humans hurt. But yeah, I won't spoil that one. It's such a good read. And then we get a knob on deck. And as you can see... It's uh, just a little comedy one. And someone actually makes an appearance in this that I didn't expect. Well, this Captain Marvel in. That was pretty good. Just a really fun read at the end of the book, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. And then obviously, inside the covers, you get the other stuff that's, Marvel pu that's Mar Marvel's publishing in this format. So, there you go. And that is that. Like I say, if you do want to pick up the uh, Mighty Marvel Masterworks, they are pretty easy to pick up on Amazon or eBay. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments if you read it, if you plan on picking this up. I'd really like to know. Until next time, see you.